Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin has um, now been consolidating below that blue target area there um, or Fibonacci area for, I would say, more than 30 hours now, sort of, yeah. But um, last couple of days, only moving up and down. In this video, I just want to focus on the smaller time frame because looking at the bigger picture, I mean, nothing changed. Even on the smaller time frame, changes are minimal. But we want to talk about a couple of things. And then um, today, I mean, it's it's it seems to be an altcoin day. Okay, that's what I mentioned in my last Solana video yesterday, that I can see it definitely break out to the upside and that it could be a positive altcoin Saturday. I think exactly that is what currently happens in the charts. Um, so actually, I wanted to start with Bitcoin dominance. Okay, because some of you have asked for an update. Where are we? regarding Bitcoin dominance, then we take a look at USDT dominance, then we take a look at the Bitcoin chart. You see the price is or pushed higher, okay? Um, the question is, what is this now? I mean, again, for anybody who's new, for anybody who's new, my idea is obviously we are still in an uptrend. And so far in this entire uptrend, I haven't called a top yet. Um, I, no major top called and for good reason because the trend is still up we're still printing higher highs higher lows i do expect bitcoin dominance to go down at some point but what we see right now with a, a, a slight downturn i mean that is not a confirmation for a major top i mean could a major top be formed yes i mean the wave count the wave count is full absolutely i mean some of you might remember that here I actually was watching for a larger wave four. Yeah, you know, it doesn't change the wave count overall, but it, it meant what I would wanted to see was A wave down, B wave up, C wave down, then we go higher. I mean, maybe it was just a high B wave, right? A, B, C. But we have to be honest, it's just playing around with a chart that can't really be properly analyzed with Elliott Wave because, at, at least in my opinion, because this is not, um, I mean, this is not a, a tradable asset. So Elliott Wave is based on market sentiment, yeah, uh, buying, selling emotions. I mean, to a degree, of course, this is based on sentiment here, but it's not a tradable asset that will be directly impacted by fear and greed um, and emotions. So it's more like, you know, it's just, there's so much stuff in there. Uh, yeah, altcoin, altcoin market cap, I mean, there's so much, you know, you just need to issue new coins and, you know, um, it can have an impact on, on the market cap. But you know, anyway, um, it, it still has some relevance and we can use the Elliott wave structures here to identify some patterns, to identify some tendencies. And, you know, we experiment a little bit with Elliott wave here. We're still in a wider resistance area which is between 54% and 64%. And yeah, I mean, a, a move to the downside from there at some point is likely what I'm watching for. That is what many people would call an altcoin season. But has it started yet? I mean, there's no evidence for it. it hasn't started yet, clearly. And we're still printing higher highs, higher lows. So I cannot rule out that in the coming weeks we move towards 64%, but the wave count is now full. Whether that means, just one second whether that means we form a larger wave four or whether that means we are already in the wave five and it's just extending one, two, three, four, five. We'll have to see, but um, I mean, even with without a break below 58.5%, you know, we, we haven't even got any indication that we're heading to the downside. But during these periods, of course, altcoins can catch up. Yeah. So overall, Bitcoin's still leading. This is insignificant. Actually, we broke out of a channel and just retested from above right now. Another chart I wanted to just talk about briefly is the UST, USDT dominance, still declining further, indicating risk appetite is growing further. In one of our member live streams, like three to four weeks ago, um, we already saw it break out of this trend line here, here. And the idea was, yeah, you know, this is supporting our overall idea that the sector is recovering especially after this August top, which indicates or uh, which sort of falls very much in line with that August dip in the crypto sector here on the USDT dominance chart. Of course, you know, if the if there's a local top, 
it means that USDT is reducing and people are moving investors and traders and institutions are moving their stable coins back into crypto. So as long as that's continuing, I can see it potentially go down to 2.75%. Looking at the Bitcoin chart itself, I mean, today seems to be rather an altcoin day. Nothing bearish here in the short term, still consolidating. That's actually good. I mean, I guess most people are happy if we see Bitcoin maybe even consolidate over the weekend. And in that period, maybe some altcoins could do a bit of a recovery. Yeah. So we sometimes see Bitcoin going sideways, altcoins recovering as a result. And as money is flowing into altcoins you know, from Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance is going down clearly. So just something to watch. The trend line is still holding. So I think just a few things to watch here. This year is consolidation. To keep it very simple, consolidation up and down, no clear direction at the moment. Three waves up, three waves down, three waves up. Um, Bitcoin hasn't decided yet. But we're getting squeezed between that trend line in green and the next upside FIP level at 91,960. Any break above it could send us to 95K and then 97.3K. I would still like to see one more high. It's not absolutely needed, but I've, I find it still quite probable. One more high would be ideal. Um, if it should be break below the trend line, this yellow trend line here will be relevant, but not so relevant. And then the um, 90, no, 85k level to watch. Okay, below 85k, we're likely going to hit that Fibonacci support area um, for a larger wave four correction, and then one more high. So what I can see at the moment is, you know, maybe we push a little bit higher. Yeah, then I can see the potential for a dip, and depending on from where it starts, you know, it might be a 15% a dip or so into this support area before we get another rally, and then it depends on where it happens, but maybe. And again, you know, we we might not see that one more four five pattern. Maybe maybe that's gonna be it, but probably we will see that one more four five pattern. So there could be either one more fifteen percent dip, or two. Whereas this might even be a bit larger. Then another rally, and then from here, and this is what we normally discuss in our daily chart. I'm not gonna do that now, but um, subscribe if you haven't done so. We do that probably in one of the next videos again. And then a major top, a major top probably in Q1, and then we could see a major correction. What that means, we're covering on our long-term charts. Again, we'll be covered in one of the next videos again, but that's sort of my view, which means as we go higher, risk is increasing, but we are probably still overall, yeah, let's say in this uptrend. Okay, that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.